What's going on YouTube, it's your boy FB Aftermath, back with another video for all of you guys. Today we are gonna be going through my highlight video of the season, uh, my first season of rugby. Now, mind you, I've only played about four games um, of the season due to my meniscus surgery that I had um, on my knee and my, my lateral meniscus for those who uh, wanna be a little bit more into detail. And um, you know, this is, this is all I got, you know? This is all I got. But uh, super excited to show you guys, super excited to uh, hear what you gotta say, uh, criticism and all for anybody who's a, a rugby fan in my channel or plays rugby as well. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be much impressed with anything that I've done this season at all, uh, just because there's a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, mental stuff going on. And uh, you know, I think I did a few good things, uh, nothing great, uh, but come this fall season, I feel like I'm deaf. My game will be a lot better. Um, I watch rugby like religiously now every single day. I probably watch more rugby in my life than I've watched football, and I'm not even over exaggerating. I've watched a lot, tried to learn as much as possible, trying to be overly ready for the next season. Uh, my conditioning is not overly ready, but over overly ready, but. I feel like my mindset uh, going into the game um, now that I'm having a better understanding of what I need to do and better understanding of how to criticize myself and say, okay, this is what I need to do better in this aspect of the game or or as we're playing or practicing and this is what I need to work on here and you know things like that, uh, especially watching other players. But don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out Alpha Clothing, use code Aftermath, 15% off. The link will be in the description and in the comment area. Definitely support me and support alpha uh, by using the code um, grab a T or something I think I still got don't touch T's for my ventures out there um, and then I'm talking, I'm talking about some some stuff for rugby tees if you guys would like some like rugby involved tees of uh, alpha clothing which is great great quality clothing let me know so I can talk to them about that um, if you need a certain amount of people to be down with it then just comment yes yes rugby down below and uh, we can get it going but let's get to the highlight all right so starting the game out teammate grabs the ball i'm guessing this is gonna be a rug all right i'm just trying to get active right there pretty much that's just just trying to be involved at that moment i don't think i really know what the fuck i was doing but still just trying to be involved Teammate goes down again. What happens? I grab the ball this time. The Malik. So like that situation right there. Uh, once I grabbed that ball, I should have got vertical and just crashed down. Stiff armed, stiff armed right there. Because I gave him no room to make anything happen. And that's the thing. I think our spacing as a team. Honestly, it's just like bad every because everything we keep doing is just this way this way And like we have to get vertical and if we're not getting vertical Then we're not you know making the plays we need to because Malik is a, is a fast guy quick So he could have you know, there's a lot of things he could have did if I would have gave him the space So now I'm like looking over at him right now, you know trying to see what he's gonna do And I end up you know doing whatever this loop-de-loop -loop, this SpongeBob loop-de-loop -loop and forward and your shoes are looking good type of thing, you know, but, you know, trying to get some support right there. But I don't know what the hell that was. Really coming in. Once again, trying to get active. I should have lit that. I should have lit his ass up right there, bro. I should have came in hard. I, I just come in just like pushing the shit, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, Teron, bro, you're number 13, bro. What are you doing? Bro, you're 240 pounds at this time. I look fat as hell. I'm not even going bullshit. I'm 220 right now. I look fat as hell. Look at this. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what this is supposed to, I don't know what, I don't know why I wasn't being aggressive. I don't, I don't, I have no idea, but this is not, that's not going to get it done. That's not going to get it done. 100%, yo. That's an, I'm, I'm embarrassed to show you guys that. 
because that's not how I am. But I understand that I haven't played in a while. If I had pads and stuff on, it'll be different. I'll be a little reckless. And and a lot of the, the other team, you know, like we get paid. The team I play for, we get paid to play. Uh, the other team, you know what I'm saying, uh, as a scrimmage game, you know, they got to go to work. And like, I, there's a lot of things I was thinking about, you know, they, they got to go to work. And I was like, damn, like I, I felt like I couldn't play a certain way. And I was just making all these, these excuses for myself. And we had a lot of issues this game, to be honest. But, I mean, it is what it is. Run that a little harder. If I was a little lower, I probably could have broke through that. Ooh, that pass. Oh, that was a hot tackle for sure. They got the advantage. Again, just come through, bro. You know, I mean, not many people were over there. But, but still. Get in there. Right there. Boom. Right now. Get in there. Get off they ass, bro. I'm, I'm taking too much time being back. You know, boom. I should have been a lot more aggressive right there. Got his ass down. You know, I'm, I'm still fighting over there, but you need to be quicker with it. It needs to be like an explosion. Like when I'm hitting that ruck, it needs to be like, you know, wait for him to go, wait, wait, go down, go down, go down, boom. You know what I'm saying? Rather than just kind of like lollygagging and then all of a sudden wanting to react. I should have stayed out of this tackle right here. I could have stayed out of this tackle. And try to actually knock uh he casey was over uh i mean uh soup was over him already so i wouldn't have been able to jackal over that to, to get the ball this was my very first game right here this is my very first game which i felt like it wasn't that bad you know what i'm saying I, I still got some active you know got him out of bounds was able to get a grab right here i remember this i should have just been running for the ball and just boom out boom pass right here was not necessary once again, same thing with Malik uh, on the last one where it's just like I'm kind of veering myself over to that edge. So I'm taking space away from that wing and boom, boom over there. Like there's not much room over there. You know what I'm saying? For him to do much work. And on top of that, as I see this, if I would have kept my eyes open, I think I was very excited at this moment. But if I could have kept my eyes open, I would have noticed Dave. Now I could have came in. Boom right put those eyes back now everybody's pushing this way david has good speed and good movement so i could have you know if i was skilled enough realized the situation of how many people we have over here realized that you know this edge is getting smaller and smaller so i should have pushed it back back in to david and he would have been able to do something with it uh we would have definitely got you know more yardage on that for sure Muti plays for guiltiness right now. Getting over him. David drops the ball. Boom, I grabbed it. Yeet! No, sir. Get over. That was a decent little run. It was a decent little run. Boom. Out. Boom. If I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have did pitter patter step. Broke down like that, I could have laid my man's out right here. Absolutely. If I would have just been more forward, down, and lunged out, that could have been his soul. I'm not even bullshitting. That could have been his soul. Getting over in the ruck. Out. All right, decent tackle, decent tackle. You know, it is what it is. Out. Made him knock on, so we got the turnover. Damn, I look so fat. See right here? Right here? I, I messed up. I'm, I'm in La La Land right here. As soon as I seen him, as soon as he... He just went down. This is the thing. Like it, 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 it I, I was forgetting stuff. Like, like things that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? And I should have laid his ass out as soon as he went reached down. Boom! Like I should have been there way, but he had to come. My teammate had to come from the side. He was already on him, chasing him down. But I should have already been there and just knocked his ass back to six. And six should have been knocked his ass back. And I think I, you know, now all of a sudden I want to be. You know, and then we had one come in with a touch and they got the, the try. You know, it's just all about just learning my mistakes and learning, you know, what I need to do. 
you know, cause like being out there on the wing, I, I didn't have a lot of, uh, it was just boring. Cause you know, I'm, I'm on a team that doesn't really know how to get it out wide. And when I feel, when I feel like I'm supposed to be active, it's like, I was confused about when to be active or not, you know? I don't know why he passed it back like that. Ooh, ooh, dang, bro. If I if I would have kept my feet, I would have been out. No, sir, you wouldn't have caught me. I would have been out. I think this is my this is my first time I dropped the ball right there. Ah, uh, bro, I was so excited because there was literally nobody over there, nobody, and I was just too excited and. I'm over here beating myself up about it. I got to get out of that mentality of like, when I make a mistake, I'm like, just beating myself up about it. You know what I'm saying? I got I to break that cycle. This game was pretty decent for me. Came in for the tackle, boom. This was my last game as wing. Ooh. 15 was good. He was, he was, he seemed. Just stayed out of that tackle. I didn't really need that. I wish they would have passed it right here, to be honest. But I got over him. Get out of here. Made sure he couldn't get through and on that. Boom. Oh, y'all remember this. Boom. Oh my God. Chat, y'all have no idea the, the confusion. I was the state of confusion I was in after this. Watch. Boom. Slap, bro. My man's, you can see, you can see Odu right here. Hold on. Who was it? Odu right here. Literally pushing shit out of my head into the ground. Through my bow. Oh my. Bow. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, I remember this one. D passed it over. My man really was trying to truck me. I was, no, sir. And no, no, sir. No, sir. No truck teams over here. No truck teams over here. You are not in the back of the store. There is no lock, no loading dock back here. No, sir. Ain't about to run me over. Kick off. I love kick off, yo. I would have been a special teams guy at least in the NFL. Yeah. Man. Well, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you got something to say, definitely say it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's mean or whatever. Just be honest uh, because I want you guys to see my progression as a player from my lowest, you know, to whenever I make it to, uh, you know, a higher level. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, leave a comment down below. Uh, get you some alpha clothing at uh, alphaclothing.co. Use code aftermath for 15% off. Catch you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.